today we're back in the bush we got a size one <laughs> There we go, another size one. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today, we're back in the bush. So we're back at the spot where I went marining last, and got those five marin. So I got my drop nets, got my five drop nets. My brother's with me, he's over there somewhere. He's setting pellets, he's gonna be on the snare. So yeah, this mission is gonna be the last one of the season. So, um, probably be a late night. So, there's going to be a bit of nighttime recording, which probably won't be the best, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. So, anyway, let's get those nets in, get some pellets in, and hope for the best. Now, I'm not going to show you how to bait these because I, I do it in every video. So, if you guys want to know how to bait them, just look back on my other videos and um, you'll see. But this is what we're using chicken pellets. In a stocking. Once again, you put that in the Marin's home. Oh, they'll be coming out for dinner. It's getting night time. It's about seven o'clock. And um, I'm hungry. Let's hope the Marin are hungry. Woo! All right, let's get them in. All right, guys, we've just got two more nets left. Got a couple more holes up here, which there was marin last time. Let's hope there's some more. All right, we found a marin on our bait. So Cameron's getting the snare ready. He's going in. See how good he is. Probably not size, but still the first marin. There you go. Marin number one. I don't think it's going to be size, but we'll soon see. Oh, so there's Marin has to be 80 mil. We size? Under size. Oh, let's get his mum. Oh, this was the one that got two Marin out last time. This time, nothing. We got a size one. <laughs> All right, guys, once again, 80 mil. He's in by about three mil. There you go, number one in the bag. Woo! How's that for a big beast? Oh yeah. First size one on the snare for me. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Alright guys, we're gonna set some pellets here. And then we're gonna walk all the way back. It's about two kilometers, I reckon. And um hopefully we can get eight each. Number two in that same hole for Cameron. 
Easy size. Yep. Yes. Three in the bag. Woo! Oh, shit. How good is this? Three marin. We've been here about an hour. But we're getting them. There we go. Another size one. Number four for the bag. All right, we'll get him out and I'll show you. There we go. Another nice size male. Don't even have to measure him. He's good. All right, get him in the bag. Maybe they keep the thing away. Just a couple of freshwater mussels. Woo! And a baby marin. Probably still has one. Little one out. Go back. There you go. Nice little marin there. Measure him up. Boom. Size marin. Another one for the bag. There we go. 10 Marin. It's currently 11.30 at night. We started at 6. What a mission. Alright, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, so we're doing something a little bit different today. We're making Marin Kilpatrick. So we're going to do a crumbed one. We're going to do a standard Kilpatrick one. And we're going to just cook um, Marin just in garlic butter. So. Let's get to cleaning these marin. I'll show you how that's done on one of them and then I'll clean the rest and we'll get cooking. See you there. Alright guys, the first thing you got to do, the marin has been in the fridge all night and in the freezer so we can kill it. So it's dead, not alive at all. So first thing you got to do, stab down the middle of the head, all the way down, all the way through. Just go work your way back along the tail. Like so. Then, split her open like that. Easy. Then get a bit of water, clean it up, get the poo tube out, clean the guts out, and boom, ready to eat. So I'll get all these done. Now I won't show you cleaning all of them. A little bit gruesome, but some people don't like that. Anyway, that's how it's done. So I'll get those clean and we'll get into cooking them. Alrighty, first up, crumbed marin. So I got my little assistant, Cooper. He's gonna get the oil on the boil and I'll start sorting these marin. First thing you want to do, get your marin. Peel all the meat out of the shell. Boom, like so. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the shells for later. Get the meat, put it down here. We're going to do two marin, like this. Boom, like that. 
Next step. We'll get those out of the way. Yeah. In this container here, I have milk, egg, flour, oh, breadcrumbs, and flour. So with the breadcrumbs, they're just plain breadcrumbs. So we're gonna add a bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of flavor. Pepper, bit of salt, and some all-purpose seasoning right there. Bang that in there. Mix it around. Alrighty, next step. Marin. You grab your marin, and we're gonna stick it in milk first. Milk. Then in the flour, just plain flour. Like so. Then in the egg. And then in the breadcrumbs. Make sure you pat them down hard so the breadcrumbs stick. And then we're gonna shallow fry them when Cooper finishes messing around with the cooker. Voila. Then stick it back in the shell and we'll get on to the next one. So I'll get all these done, and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so we've had a camera malfunction. So what we're doing is we're shallow frying the crumbed marron, and then we're gonna get the shells, cook the shells up, because there's a little bit of meat left in them. So we're gonna get that on the on the pan, cook them up, then after this, we're cooking pizza marron. So what we're gonna do is get the meat, take it out of the shell. Then, we're gonna put it back in the shell, and we're gonna add pizza sauce, bacon, cheese, feta, and a little bit of uh, rocket. So that's what we're doing now. Put all that, put all that together. And then after this, I'll show you the rest. Leave a comment down below if you have ever had marin, with the marin meat being the base of the pizza. <laughs> so the last but not least, a bit of cheese on top. Then we'll whack the lid on and we're done. Oh, I am excited. All right, we'll get this lid on. Whack the lid on so the cheese and everything melts through the marin. All right, we'll give that 10 minutes or five minutes and then next dish. <laughs> excited. Oh, I'm getting so hungry. This is going to be the best. All right, while we're waiting for that to cook, a dipping sauce for the crumbed marron. So we got in here, we got Kupi mayo, Worcestershire sauce, and peri peri sauce. So we're gonna join all that together, and combine all that. And that's gonna make our dipping sauce. Oh, oh, we're onto a winner there. That's good. How's this going? Might just add a bit of rocket in there on top. Bit of a garnish. They're coming along good. Check this out. Marin pizzas. All right, so what I might do, get these marin out and stick them in the grill inside. That way, the whole tops will be crisped up, golden brown, ready to eat. All right, let's get them out. Always gotta have a drink while you're cooking. All right, next on the menu. Marin, do the same thing. Loosen the meat up. Trust me, it makes it a hundred times easier when you go to eat it. Boom, whack that in there. Same with this one. All right, so this menu, this recipe, is gonna be um, Marin Kilpatrick. So, Marin in there, a little bit of Tabasco sauce. Just a tiny bit. Like so. Next. 
Worcestershire sauce. Now you don't need too much of this. I need about a tablespoon and a half, tablespoon and a half on each one. Mm. Alrighty. Boom. There we go. Now, a bit of bacon. Chuck that on there. A little bit of bacon. And then, I like to put a bit of spring onion on there. Do you like these, Holly? Yeah. All right, I'll give you a look and we'll put the lid on them. How's this? Marin Kilpatrick. No oysters in the bush here. Oh yeah. All right, we got one more, one more recipe after this, which is just going to be garlic butter marin. Like that. And then we feast. How does this look? Marin pizzas. Oh. No words. No words. All right, we'll step those aside. Wait till these Kilpatricks are done. I might even stick them in the oven as well. And then we'll get on to the last ones. So I've just put the Kilpatrick in the grill. So I reckon it'll just cook a lot better. Anyway, the last dish with the smallest marin. I'm gonna bang them on there. This is the traditional way of cooking marin, the way everyone does. Got a bit of garlic butter here. Just gonna pour the garlic butter on the marin. Like so. This is probably the best way of eating marin. And yabbies, crawfish, crawdad, crayfish, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. Okay. Everyone's different. It's different for different countries. But here you go. Boom. We'll give this five minutes. They're only little marin. We're gonna go check the grill now for the Kilpatrick and then plate it all up and dig in. <laughs> the Kilpatrick are done. These little marin are nearly done. Let's give them a flip. Then taste test of time. And we'll get the family together and we'll dig in. That simple. Couple of bourbons, rums, and just a fancy cook up. Ugh. Guys, you gotta try this. I've tried, I'm trying new things right now, like pizza marin and um, Kilpatrick marin. Never done that before, but hey, looks amazing, smells amazing, and it probably will be amazing. So check these marin out. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Marin are done. All right, we'll grab them out. And we'll plate them up. Oh, I'm hungry. The meat's just fallen off the bone. <laughs> We're done. Oh. I don't know what to say. Check this out. Bit of B-roll. How's that guys? What do we got here? We got crumbed marin. Got a crumbed marin here. Boom. With a dipping sauce. We got pizza marin. I bet no one's tried pizza marin before. And Kilpatrick marin. That is going to be the best lunch. Alright, let's give it a go. Yes. 
Taste test of time. All right. First, crumbed marron. Boom. In the dipping sauce. Oh. Oh, it's a winner. So good. So good. Give this a go. Mm-hmm. Now I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna eat a little bit of these because I want to share it with my family, so I'll eat one of each. Next, pizza marin. <laughs> Look at this thing. Wow. Oh. Oh. Kill Patrick. Get a little bit of this one. Well, guys, they are all sensational. Please give them a go. Um, I love to try new things with Marin every time. So um, this is a meal fit for a king and a queen and their kids. Hey, anyway, enough jibber jabber. Um, oh, please give it a go, all right? Anyway, anyway I'll see you on the next adventure and uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next adventure. See ya.